it's very important to uh, send a message to the community about officer-involved shootings, police shootings, in this case, the L.A. County Sheriff's Department. We pressed the Sheriff's Department essentially to change your policy involving shootings of, in this case, unarmed civilians or very questionable shootings. We went to Sheriff Baca. We had two meetings with him. Sheriff Baca, to our very, very great satisfaction, did respond. And the response was a change, a profound change in policy in the Sheriff's Department. The policy is this, this is a copy of it now, just delivered, that um, use of force now, officers will not use force. The Rather than shooting first and asking questions later, which of course <laughs> not only serves no one and certainly not the community and even Sheriff's Department, the policy now is to contain, get back up, totally assess the situation. In other words, use of force is minimized. But there's a sidelight to that. We had the a series of meetings with Sheriff Baca in July and September of 2009. We noticed something. Even before the official policy change, no more shootings. There have been no shootings involving sheriff's officers and since September 2009. I often think that people don't realize that we actually save lives. We can't quantify that. We can't put a number on it. But do you know how many lives we have saved? How many confrontations? How much use of force, minimization of violence because of that? Uh, I think that these are things that are intangibles that certainly we appreciate and the community should appreciate. So we're very pleased that there's been a change of policy now. The next step is to continue, as always, bringing a third eye to the Sheriff's Department to continue to monitor to make sure the implementation is there. That's part of the process, too, and uh, we're committed to that. My name is Michael Janaco. I'm Chief Attorney for the Office of Independent Review. I, I think this is a very positive and, and good step forward. Uh, Mr. Hutchinson had a lot to do with it. The community advocates, when they bring the concern to the sheriff, he tends to be responsive. But if that concern isn't brought to the sheriff, then there's uh, no impetus sometimes to get this going. So he deserves a lot of credit for that, for, for this new change. But I think ultimately it's the sheriff that deserves the most credit. He was willing to listen. He brought forward a panel of experts who are the training officers in the department. And they deliberated and came forward and adopted some new language. There's a long 30-page booklet that accompanies the policy that lays out scenario-based training that will really help, I think, the deputies develop a new way of dealing with armed suspects, hopefully more safely. Yeah, okay. just make a statement. Well, I'm going to speak for the families, the families that have been victimized by law enforcement um, in uh, ways that concern all of us, uh, absolutely with... Uh, as one of my associates said, if you have a gunshot to the back and certainly to the armpit, then there are questions that are already in place about that shooting. Uh, and at first when he said it, I missed it. I understand the wounds to the back, but clearly gunshots in the armpit indicate some kind of yield. All right. And so uh, we spoke lightly about it, but it's not a funny subject when you talk to the family. Uh, such as I have of a 16-year-old who was killed by law enforcement. And when you have young people uh, that are fatalities, you know, it's a concern to all of us uh, because we found uh, in a lot of these cases, you know, we're at the mercy of law enforcement. You know, we're caught between the rock and the hard place, and I'm speaking figuratively for the young people that oftentimes are armed uh, because they're in street wars. So... A lot of times they run for two reasons. They have a gun or they have marijuana. Or in some cases they have both. And we certainly have had young men killed in our parks for smoking marijuana. So these are a big concerns to us as citizens and community members and parents because uh, we're in flux. Uh, we've had changes in Los Angeles Police Department that have been uh, needed for decades, decades, and so we've seen that turn around. We've seen that agency really uh, work to reform itself, and now with their reforming their own conduct, it gives us the opportunity to look at other agencies, and they've given us plenty to look at in the last couple of years. So it's been a great concern to the community and absolutely uh, the victim families because.
Ms. Deborah Washington. I'm a member of the LA Urban Policy Roundtable. And I think that this is a great start for us to start healing the wounds that have become between the members of the community and the police department. We are one unit that has become separated. And um, I won't get into the issues because this is a very short moment. But we have to, we have to start somewhere.